So tonight I've been mucking around a little bit with the wiring on this Fiat. Um, we've got the dash cage here, which you can see I've restored. You've probably seen that in a previous video. Flip them upside down so it looks the right way around. Um, and yeah, so what I've basically done, I've got a spotlight hooked up to the headlight. Got a little inspection light down there for the parker. And for the tail light, that little red one there. So what I'll do, go ahead and start her up. You can use the button. Yeah. So these are two switches here. From memory, that one's your headlight, so we push it in. Oh no, it's the parkers. Parker light there, and your tail light there. And you can push the headlight in. The headlight comes on. Off. On. Off. On. And Even something as simple as that, you know, just getting the lights to work and just means a great deal. Very satisfying. And you can see these plug into little ports are on the side of the radiator here, so we've got the plugs for it here that are sticking out there. And one of the benefits of having that is that you can get um you can make yourself a little inspection light like this. And you can use it to hook the stuff on the engine, so. Yeah, it's all very fun. You see it charge as well too. And you can see the headlights park as well. The only thing we haven't got connected is the oil pressure, which is this gauge here. And that gets the speed through a line that comes through here at the back of the petrol tank. You can see a bit of oil on my finger when I wipe it. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing we haven't got connected, but yeah. Now we have, have had a few issues with the engine of late. Um, I noticed it was condensing up, you can see the oil filler down there, condensing a bit of water on there and it was also gaining oil, so to speak, so uh, we found the oil was milky, so water been leaking in there, but we reckon it's a head gasket. Now I'll just so show you something here. With the car came two head gaskets, um, which were remakes. So you can see this is the other one, they're both identical, the other one's on the car at the moment. But what we don't like about it, I didn't see this at the time, those holes are very close to the combustion chamber holes, so, um, yeah, we're not too happy with it. And you can see we've actually sourced a, um, an original or a, a well-made remake, if that makes sense, of a gasket. So you can see it's copper on one side with asbestos lining in the middle uh, and then brass on the other. And you can see it's got little rings around all the important areas like the water jets and your combustion holes and all the other holes. They're just, um, they're just for bolts, for your head bolts, so... Touch wood, that's okay at the moment. Um, a mechanic has suggested this product. I'm not sure what it's called, but you can put it in the oil. I'll put it in the water, sorry. But it's got to be run for, they say, 12 hours. But, you know, just several good long trips. And that'll uh, fill up any cracks or leaks that there may be in the head gasket or, in fact, in the head of the block themselves. So, but we can't put that in until the car's registered and on the road to take it for a good drive. So, yeah. Now, um, as for the body... It's coming along quite well. I don't know if you've seen it in this stage. I can't remember. It's been ages. Um, yeah, all back to bare metal. Basically, the front half's all but getting there. We've got the rust in the bottom of the door here still to fix. Um, and we're going to strengthen. You've got the pillars that come down here. And made the bottom of the chassis here. We're going to strengthen them. I've made up a bracket. We're going to have one on either side. And basically, all I've got to do now is I've got this bar here, I've got to cut it and I'm going to weld it just in place like that, just a bit of, bit of a brace because I figured those bits of wood there, they're taking a fair bit of weight. If you've got someone hopping into the car, they're going to be putting weight on top of the door to push themselves in. Uh, you've got the weight of the windscreen plus the hood pushing down and it's all coming down in this centre bit of wood. 
Um, so that's where the bracket's going to go, just up in there. So that's all coming along very nicely. And then as for the tub, the rear section of the car, started filling the dents. Um, from one of my previous videos, you can see I welded in a big section all the way along the back there. And that's all, all looking good, all coming along nicely. See, so yeah, all in all, progress is going along quite well. Albeit slow, but, you know, that's the joys of old cars. Now, um, and a little thing to note, we have also decided on a colour for this, finally. Uh, that's it there, you can't really see it too well. It's called Alfa Rosso. It's a 1991 colour. Uh, it's from, you know, Alfa Romeo, as you could have guessed. But you'll see it matches really nicely with the brass there. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to look beautiful. You can see if you wrap it around the body a bit. Get my hand out of the way. Should be nice. Uh, I'm not just painting on an old sticker that was actually on a cardboard box to begin with. Um, I just sprayed it on there, the spray can, and then also just put clear over it, but it was enamel clear over acrylic paint, so... Big no but it turned out alright. <laughs> um, and then also for the interior, we're gonna... We decided on that too, we're gonna have a black dash, painted, black painted dash, with a really high gloss on it. Which would really offset the, you know, the center surround and the Smith speeder and clock that we have for it. And you're going to have uh, black vinyl upholstery with maroon carpets and, you know, black door trims. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, it should turn out to be quite an attractive car. So, yeah. And the last thing I want to mention before I bore you too much is on the Morris here. We're having problems where to keep on blowing its, uh, its flasher can for the indicators as well as your brake lights. And occasionally the headlights as well. And we found... Uh, there was a bare wire that was pinching on one of the front hangers. Uh, it was down, oh, you can't see that very well, down up in there with the spring pivots on the chassis. It was pinching in there every now and then, shorting everything out and blowing the bulbs. But that has since been fixed. And I've also rewired the whole back section of the car. You can't see that again. Um, the wires were pretty daggy in there and it had a tow bar fitted to it when it was originally restored by my popper. And it had a trailer plug as well. Um, and it was never used, and I thought we're never going to use it because the car doesn't really have enough guts to tow anything. So I removed it and got rid of all the wires and made it a whole lot neater at the back as well. So that's all good, and it's actually turned out to be quite reliable. And one last thing to mention too, the steering on this, it had a lot of slack in it. Um, and it was getting quite hairy to drive down the road, it would wander a lot. And so I took the whole steering box out, and there's still a, a fair bit in there. But it's a lot tighter and a lot more snug than it was. It was quite loose before. Uh, so now it does drive a lot more true and a lot more straight. It's really nice to drive now. Um, yeah, apart from that, there's not much else I can really report on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.